Uh, first off, I want to say uh, thank everyone for coming out. Um, and I know I haven't talked to you guys since the last press conference uh, when the signing happened. And uh, just first off, I just want to say, you know, again, thanks to this, to this organization, uh, the Haslam's and AB, Kevin, uh, all the fans that's, that, that's them reached out, my teammates for the, you know, the support and just uh, the welcoming of, you know, being a Cleveland Brown and what it really means. Um, and I also want to thank and appreciate the fan base, um, especially the interactions I've had outside and in the community. Uh, that's been awesome. Uh, it's been some some good uh, interactions. And you know, when I go out to dinner and to movies and things like that, everything's been pretty good. Uh, so I want to thank you know the fans and continue want to you know show my face in the community and build and build that relationship uh, with all the fans around here because I know that's most important. Uh, and Cleveland is being a Cleveland Brown and, and having the fans and the team you know be as one because it's one big family. So. I uh, just really wanted to say that um, and looking forward to continue to, like I said before, be in the community. Um, and I'm happy to be a Cleveland Brown. This is going to be my, my home uh, for the rest of my career. That's the plan. And, um, yeah, everything's been going good. And I also want to say uh, I know that there's still legal proceedings still going on. So I know, you know, you guys have a lot of questions that you probably want to answer or want answers to and want to ask. Um, and some of those I'll, I'll try my best to answer, but at the same time, I have to respect <clears throat> the process that is still going on. And uh, I, I may may not be able to answer those questions. So I hope you guys, you know, respect that and, and let the proceedings continue to work out. But uh, um, honestly, it's been, you know, it's been tough, um, you know, just trying to make sure that I, I stay balanced. Uh, with my, my mental and, and just my social life. But I have a great family. Um, I have a great uh, legal team and I have a great support cast here in this organization. So when I walk into the building, all that stuff is outside. I got to focus on football and my teammates, building that trust with those guys on the football field and off the field and just really just coming to work because the game plan is, you know, the season starts and, and getting everyone on the same page. Deshaun, since you last talked to us, the number of cases have increased. Is that surprising to you? Um, like I said before, I, I go each and every day focusing on my tasks and being the best person I can be. I can't control what you know the other side is, is doing with the legal process. But um, like I said before, I just got to continue to just focus on being the best Deshaun Watson I can be for this organization. When you've, when you've met with the when you've met with the NFL, <laughs> how has that gone? And are you really are you concerned with waiting for this decision from the league? Um, yeah, I can't control that. You know, I met with the, the NFL um, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I did everything they asked me to do. I answered every question truthfully uh, that that the NFL asked me. Um, I spent hours with those with those with the people that they brought down, and that's all I can do is just tell them and be honest and, and tell them exactly what happened. And they, I know they have a job, and so I have to respect that. And that's what we want to do is cooperate. And you know, they have to make a decision best for the uh, the lead. You know, so. When these cases, if they go before a jury, why should a jury that might hear these cases believe you over dozens of women? Um, I understand that question I, and I definitely respect it, but I, I feel like with this environment coming off the football field, it's hard to answer that question, uh, without, especially without talking to anybody on my legal team. Um, but at the same time, you know, I've been honest and I've been truthful about my stance. Um, and that's, you know, I never forced anyone. I never assaulted anyone. So um, that's what, you know, I've, I've been saying it from the beginning. And I'm going to continue to do that. And, and until all the facts come out on the legal side, I have to continue to just, you know, go with the process with my legal team and, and um, you know, the court of law. Deshaun, you've been very adamant about your innocence and stating your innocence. My question is, these allegations have done a tremendous amount of harm to your reputation. Um, have you thought about um, a, a countersuit for, for defamation because these accusations have been you know, very clear, very strong, and have painted you in such a negative light publicly? Um, I understand that, and I know these allegations uh, is very is very serious, and you know you have to respect that and, and everything that goes with it, and it impacts so many people, not just me and my family, and this organization, but people that are outside in the community, this fan base, people from from the Houston fan base, anyone that was you know a fan of mine, 
But uh, as far as that, um, I haven't got into any of that. My biggest thing is just wanting to clear my name so I can get back, you know, being in an environment that, you know, I'm most comfortable in, and that's being in the community and helping people and being that, that role model and leader. Uh, and also being on the football field with my teammates and try to win ball games. So uh, that's that's something that I haven't really been focused on, just really clearing my name and just focusing on doing what's right and, and being honest and, and whatever, whoever I have to answer to, I have to give them the true facts. Hey, Sean, Sean, when, when we uh, talked to you, you told us that you, you would not settle out of court. Yet after that, a report came out that your team offered $100,000 to each of these accusers. So which is the truth? Was that money offered or, or not? Um, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of articles that's out there and, and facts and things like that. Um, you know, there was a process that was going on back in November uh, with another organization. Um, so I can't really get too far in details with that. But, you know, with the process that was going on before I became a Cleveland Brown, uh, that's a whole nother discussion. To be speaking of uh, uh, articles, The New York Times reported that you booked massages with 66 different women over a 17 month period. Does that number 66 seem right to you? Um, I mean, I can ask it. I, I don't think so uh, for what me and my attorneys went through. But at the same time, you know, that's a that's more of a, a legal question that I can't really get into details about. Um, so you'll probably have to ask my attorneys and things like that to confirm. On March 25th, you said that uh, you had never disrespected a woman in your life and that you had no regrets about anything you did during these massage sessions, do you still stand by that statement? Uh, I think, yeah, I think that question uh, kind of, you know, triggered a lot of people, not just women in general, but a lot of people from this, you know, in the lead from women to, to males and things like that. And what I was saying is, yes, I, I never assaulted, disrespected or harassed anyone. But at the same time, I do understand that uh, I do have regrets as far as the impact that it has on the community and people outside of just myself. You know, and that includes my family, that includes this organization, that includes my teammates in this locker room that have to answer to these questions, that includes, you know, the fan base of the Cleveland Browns, that includes males, females, everyone across the, the world, you know. So uh, that's one thing I do regret is the impact that it's have triggered on so many people. And, um, yeah, it's, it's tough to, to have to, you know, deal with. But as far as your, your actions, you don't have any regrets about anything that you've actually done? You know, like I said, I never assaulted anyone, or I never harassed anyone, or I never disrespected anyone, or I never forced anyone to do anything. Deshaun, what do you say to your teammates? You just talked about the impact that all these allegations have had on the greater public. But inside that locker room, how do you get these guys to trust in you and believe in you and, and when all these things are out in the media? I just be myself. I come in here with my hell, head hell high. I come in here, if any one of those guys need to ask questions or they have any concerns, they know they can come to my locker and ask me. But for ever since I walked in here from day one, these guys have rallied around me and supported me. And if anything popped up, they questions have been asked and I answered them truthfully. And outside of that, we come in here, we work, we try to be the best Cleveland Brown that we can be, best teammate we can be. And we've had a lot of fun of getting to know each other and especially on the trip to the Bahamas, that was awesome. So uh, these guys have also, you know, came behind me and supported me. What's Russia, a couple more. How have you dealt emotionally with the constant barrage of one lawsuit after another and an HBO special and a New York Times article? Uh, how are you holding up emotionally and what might you do between uh, mini camp and training camp to kind of take care of yourself right. or whatever uh yes ma'am um i think you know, it's been it's been a long uh year and a half i can say that um personally and and just it's been tough and since i've came here and been and became a cleveland brown i've been able to you know uh, use all the resources that the that this organization have and uh, been able to, to you know start you know using counseling and, and talking with someone just to make sure that my mental is straight and uh, so I can be prepared to walk on this field and be as sharp as I possibly can and I'm going to continue to do that and be the best person and, and grow as an individual grow as a human being and just be able to be the best citizen best person that I can be uh, outside this field and also when I walk in this building be the best teammate and player that I can be are you open to, are you open to settling? Determination is obviously not up to you, and both sides have agreed to, you know, do the civil proceedings next year. But if for some reason it's longer than you would expect or think is fair, um, do you think that you guys would reconsider maybe trying to push it back to this year because it would really 
be no point in, in, in waiting if hypothetically you're in that situation just for, because you say you want to clear your name and you'd be in a position to maybe do that sooner? Um, I'm not sure really. You know, like I said, when it comes down to the lead and their decision, uh, we have to respect that and, and let them do their process and finish their investigation and report. And like I said before, I've talked to those, talked to the lead, and I've been honest and, and told them truthfully of every question that they ask. So I have to, I can't really have no control on that. And then whatever the decision come, then I feel like that's the next step for this organization, this lead. We got um, time for one last question. It's possible. Are you open to settling now? And what would it take to settle these? Uh, like I said, I just want to clear my name and be able to tell, let the facts and the legal uh, legal procedure, procedures continue to play out. Um, so right now, that's what that's all I'm doing is is want to clear my name and be able to let all the facts come out in the court of law and, and be able to focus on that. All right, that's it, guys. Since this all began, what is, what's different about Deshaun now compared to when this all began? How have you changed? How have your life? How have you changed? How has your life changed? Just being able to focus on uh, myself a little bit and just figure out, you know, how I can be the best human being I can be, best team man I can be, the best son I can be, the best friend I can be, and just focus on that and just having, you know, a smile on my face, walk with my head held high because I know who I really am and just being the best, you know, citizen I can be in this community. And from, like I said before, it's been awesome uh, to be able to get out in the community, go to restaurants. Uh, it was one instance where I went to the movies with, with my girlfriend and uh, it was a group of uh, families, probably 30, and they, you know, bought us popcorn and invited us to a movie. So I thought that was pretty awesome to be able to get out and let people really know who I really am. So um, that's been, you know, my focus is really just focusing on, you know, Deshaun Watson and being the best person I can be.